Uh, Jonathan, I wanted to ask you another question. Uh, we see greater convergence between celebrity, celebrity foundations, corporate social responsibility, and nonprofit organizations. Can you describe where you see this convergence taking the field of sports philanthropy in years to come? Yeah, um, thank you. I, I think it's a really exciting time. And as we talked about, uh, there seems to be this um, growing interest in collaboration among athletes, entertainers, uh, leagues, teams, uh, corporate funders and backers who will put their uh, resources behind an initiative, uh, and nonprofit organizations who can execute on the ground uh, leveraging uh, their expertise. I think the opportunity that's created uh, from that movement, perhaps uh, in the field, uh, is one of greater and more sustainable impact. Um, we need these initiatives to be less driven by PR and marketing uh, and really about the impact that we have over a measured period of time on the ground in that particular cause area. So uh, whether it's reforming uh, schools and education, um, whether it's the obesity crisis, which many organizations have uh, taken on and seems to be a natural fit uh, in particular uh, in sports, uh, I think where the opportunity is and where the need exists for cross-collaboration among organizations working in this space to elevate the level of our work, uh, to empower the practitioners, the athletes and entertainers themselves, the staff uh, that implements uh, these solutions on behalf of teams and leagues, uh, to work more collaboratively, to share best practices. Um, I think forums like this, and ASU certainly has a, a great forum to do this type of work. Uh, many of you might have been to the Beyond Sports uh, conference uh, that was here in the city recently. Um, typically what we find is people who are sharing their experiences uh, and some learnings can be gained from that. But what I think is lacking right now and where that opportunity exists uh, is for real whiteboarding sessions where people can share their best practices. What has worked in a particular market on a particular issue and how can that be replicated um, by others in other cities across the country uh, or uh, globally uh, in order to again draw from each other the strengths of what we've done well, establish a baseline of best practices, and then go in deeper with multi-year efforts. The other, I think, challenge that exists in particular for sports philanthropy is that we typically see seasonal commitments. Okay, this season we're gonna take on this cause. The next season we're gonna take on another cause. But that doesn't really allow for the type of real sustained impact that we need. Uh, so perhaps, through this commitment and cross-collaboration among leagues, teams, and practitioners. Uh, perhaps we can carve out a few core issues that we want to make sure that we're dealing with year in and year out. Of course, we'll still have our pet projects that may come and go, uh, but I think the opportunity exists for us to really go deeper if there's a concentrated effort to do so.